Garden, trouble at Arthur's Treehouse. After the storm blew down our treehouse, I got really worried. But everyone said we could rebuild it. Yeah, we put pictures of all the stuff we need on the side of the treehouse. But we don't have much money. So, we're each going to help someone in Elwood City. If we help the grown-ups, they'll give us something we need for the treehouse. Isn't that great? Well, Arthur, what are we waiting for? We better get started. You're right, DW. Let's go. Click on one of our friends to go and help them. Hey, how would you like to come and help me? This will be fun. My dad said that if we help him, He'll give us a rope and pulley to lift things into the tree. That's right. All you kids have to do is get something from the toolbox for me. Great! We can turn this into a game by seeing who can get to the toolbox first. Click on number one if you're playing by yourself and you can help me. Click on number two if you're playing with a friend and your friend can help Arthur. We'll let you know whose turn it is. Here's how we'll play. Go to any lit up crate that matches the shape that my dad asks for. Choose where you want to go carefully. You can only move to a crate that's to the side of you or in front of you. They'll light up so you'll know. The first player who gets across the room to the big tool crate is the winner. I'll start. Listen to the clue and tell me where to go. Go to the shape that is hollow. Which space should I go to? Excellent. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is hollow. I'll move to this crate. You really know your stuff. Listen to the clue. Go to the shape that is a square. What should I pick? Excellent. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is hollow. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. Now it's my turn. Go to the shape that is solid. Which one should I choose? You really know your stuff. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is solid. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. All right, I'll go now. Go to the shape that is hollow. What should I pick? You really know your stuff. Okay. My turn. Go to the shape that is blue. I'll move to this crate. Um, I think my dad asked for something else. Listen to the clue. Go to the shape that is a star. Which space should I go to? Excellent. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is a square. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. Now it's my turn. Go to the shape that is a square. Which one should I choose? Believe it or not, we just won. Good for us. This is great. Let's do some more. OK, my turn. Go to the shape that is a triangle. I'll move to this crate. Um, I think my dad asked for something else. Listen to the clue and tell me where to go. Go to the shape that is red. What should I pick? Um, I think my dad asked for something else. OK, here I go. Go to the shape that is hollow. I'll move to this crate. You really know your stuff. 
All right, I'll go now. Go to the shape that is a triangle. Which space should I go to? A triangle? Excellent. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is green. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. Now it's my turn. Go to the shape that is green. Which one should I choose? Excellent. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is a triangle. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. All right, I'll go now. Go to the shape that is green. Which space should I go to? You really know your stuff. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is a triangle. I'll move to this crate. Excellent. Listen to the clue. Go to the shape that is a circle. What should I pick? You really know your stuff. Okay, here I go. Go to the shape that is a square. I'll move to this crate. A good choice. Listen to the clue and tell me where to go. Go to the shape that is green. Which one should I choose? Believe it or not, we just won. Good for us. All right. We got the part for Brain's dad, so we can have the pulley now. If you want to do this again, stick around and we'll start over. Or you can go help someone else. Hmm. This rope and pulley should come in handy for rebuilding that tree house. It's so nice of you to help us with our treehouse. It looks like we'll be able to play new games in it again soon. This is easy. How about we go up a level? That was fun. Let's play again. Okay, my turn. Go to the shape that is hollow. Um, I think... Well, I have everything I need for that engine. You kids have been a big help. It would be great if I had some help. I'm the one who needs the most help. Help me. Gosh, this seems like a lot of work. I hope we'll get everything we need to rebuild the treehouse. What took you so long? Why, yes, I think I do have something for your treehouse. I have lots of extra paint. And it's all yours if you'll go through my garden and pick some pretty flowers for my house. I know. Let's make a game out of picking flowers for Grandma Thora. You can help. Hey, thanks, Grandma Thora. Grown-ups always like it when kids help out. See that window with the numbers one and two? Click on number one if you're playing by yourself and you can help me. Click on number two if you're playing with a friend and your friend can help Arthur. We'll let you know whose turn it is. We're trying to see who can get to the end of the path first by picking the right number of flowers. See these three sheets hanging on the rope? They'll always show groups of flowers. The first group plus the second group will always equal the third group. See these two circles on the ground? Only one of them will show a group of flowers that is equal to the number of flowers on the third sheet. Each time you click on the right circle, you'll move ahead two spaces on the path. First one who gets to the end wins. Uh, I guess I'll go first. I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I go next. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Three plus one equals four flowers. You got it. Okay, here I go. I will pick the flowers in this circle. Three plus two equals five flowers. Yay! Now I get to go. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Five plus one equals six flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Wait a second. It's my turn. I want these flowers right here. One plus five 
equals six flowers. Yes! Okay, I go next. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? One plus one equals two flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Five plus one equals six flowers. Yay! Okay, I go next. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem. Okay? Three plus two equals five flowers. You got it. Um, I think I go next. I will pick the flowers in this circle. Five plus one equals six flowers. Yes! Hey, Arthur, it's my turn. I see two circles. Which one has the right answer in it? Two plus four equals six flowers. You got it. Okay, here I go. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I go next. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Three plus two equals five flowers. You got it. Wow, you're doing great. You should try the next level. Wait a second. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Oops. Wrong one. Now, Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Six plus four equals ten flowers. You got it. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Oops. Wrong one. Now I get to go. I see two circles. Which one has the right answer in it? Two plus four equals six flowers. You got it. Wait a second. It's my turn. I will pick the flowers in this circle. Nine plus one equals ten flowers. Yes! Hey, Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Five plus one equals six flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Wait a second, it's my turn. I want these flowers right here. Eight plus one equals Nine flowers! Yay! Okay, I go next. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Six plus two equals eight flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Okay, here I go. I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I go next. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Seven plus three equals 10 flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Wait a second. It's my turn. I want these flowers right here. Four plus four equals eight flowers. Yay! Hey, 
Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Nine plus one equals 10 flowers. You got it. Um, I think I go next. I'll pick the flowers in this circle. Oops, wrong one. Now I get to go. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Nine minus eight equals one flower. You got it. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Nine minus eight equals one flower. Yes! Hey Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Ten minus eight equals two flowers. You got it. Okay, here I go. I'll pick the flowers in this circle. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I go next. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Three minus one equals two flowers. You got it. Hey, I won! You helped me! Hey, let's go back to the other side of the garden and pick some more flowers. Uh, I guess I'll go first. I'll pick the flowers in this circle. Oops, wrong one. Hey, Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Nine plus... One equals 10 flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Nine plus one equals 10 flowers. Yay! Okay, I go next. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? 10 minus 9 equals 1 flower. I'm so glad you're helping me. Okay, here I go. I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I go next. I see two circles. Which one has the right answer in it? Minus five equals one flower. I'm so glad you're helping me. Wait a second. It's my turn. I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. Now I get to go. I see two circles. Which one has the right answer in it? One plus nine equals 10 flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Oops, wrong one. Hey Arthur, it's my turn. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Nine minus eight equals one flower. I'm so glad you're helping me. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. 10 minus three equals seven flowers. Yes! Hey Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? 
pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? It's my turn! I want these flowers right here! Oops! Wrong one! Now I get to go! See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Seven plus one equals eight flowers! You got it! Wait a second! It's my turn! And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick! Nine plus one equals ten flowers! Yes! Hey Arthur, it's my turn! I see two circles! Which one has the right answer in it? Nine minus two equals Seven flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Okay, here I go. I'll pick the flowers in this circle. Oops, wrong one. Now I get to go. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Ten minus two equals eight flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Okay, here I go. I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. Now I get to go. I see two circles. Which one has the right answer in it? Seven minus one equals six flowers. You got it. Okay, here I go. I want these flowers right here. Nine minus two equals seven flowers. Yay! Now I get to go. I see two circles. Which one has the right answer in it? Seven plus one equals eight flowers. I'm so glad you're helping me. Okay, here I go. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Six plus four equals 10 flowers. Yes! Hey Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Minus eight equals one flower. You got it. Okay, here I go. I want these flowers right here. Oops, wrong one. Hey Arthur, it's my turn. See those two circles of flowers? Pick the one that answers the math problem, okay? Plus three equals six flowers. You got it. Okay, here I go. I'll pick the flowers in this circle. Oops, wrong one. Now I get to go. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Minus six equals three flowers. You got it. Um, I think I go next. And these are the flowers I'm gonna pick. Oops, wrong one. Now I get to go. Which circle has the same number of flowers as the answer to the math problem? Five plus four equals nine flowers. 
yours. I'm so glad you're helping me. I don't believe it. We just won. Yay! Oh my! Look at all these pretty flowers you picked for me. I think I have a little something here for you. Yay! It's the paint for the treehouse. Thanks, Grandma Thora. And thanks to you, too, for picking flowers with us. You've been a big help. Oh, look. The treehouse will look wonderful with this new paint. You made that look easy. It will be so fun to play games with you in our new treehouse. Hey, want to stay and play again just for fun? If not, go ahead and click exit. Hey, let Thanks for your help. I'm so glad you stopped by and helped me out. Hey, why don't you help me? Grown-ups like it when kids help out. They'll give us stuff for the treehouse if we help them. Easy! Come on, let's go! My dad says we can have one thing from the junkyard to use in the treehouse. I found a table that would be just right. You can have it. But first things first. I need a little help with something I call a word sculpture. What do you say? Sure, we'll help. And you can help too, okay? Dad's gonna give us the clue. And we have to find something on the junk pile that matches it. Your job is to click on the right piece of junk. Then move it over here to the bottom of the sculpture and put it on there. If you need to hear the word again, click on my dad. I'd like you to find me a wrench. Wrench. You got it. This time, I need a kite. Do you see one anywhere? Pen. Bird. Kite. Just what we wanted. Say, I think we could use a rake. Shoe. Bag. Rake. That's the one. I'm looking for a dog. Do you see one anywhere? You got it! Say, I think we could use a plane. Lamp. Can. Plane. That's the one! I really like making art, don't you? And it looks like we're gonna do some more of it, too. Stick around to help, okay? This time, I need a fork. Do you see one anywhere? Pail, saw, fork. Just what we wanted. I'm looking for a plane. You got it! I'd like you to find me a chair. Do you see one anywhere? Kite. Hat. Chair. Chair. That's the one! I'm looking for a bag. Shoe, can, bag, you got it. I'd like you to find me a dog. Bird, pan. 
meal. Dog. That's the one. Remember? We're looking for a piece of junk that rhymes with the word my dad gives us. Rhyming words share the same ending sound, like hat and bat. Say, I think we could use something that rhymes with... Bench! Wrench! Just what we wanted! I'd like you to find me something that rhymes with... Ten! Rhyming words have the same ending sound, like coat and boat. Rake. Lamp. Pen. You got it! Say, I think we could use something that rhymes with... Bat. Plane. what we wanted. I'd like you to find me something that rhymes with blue. Rhyming words have the same ending sound, like coat and boat. Pail. Lamp. Shoe. That's the one. I'm looking for something that rhymes with Cork. Chair. Bag. Fork. You got it. I really like making art, don't you? And it remember, we're looking for pieces of junk that belong to the same group or family my dad calls out. So, if dad asks for a tool, you can give him a saw or a wrench. Say, I think we could use a tool. Saw, wrench, saw. Just what we wanted. I'd like you to find me a tool. Dog, kite. Rake. That's the one. Say, I think we could use something you'd find in a house. Bird. Book. Pen. Book. You got it. I'd like you to find me a container. Pen. Can. Bag. That's the one. Say, I think we could use a tool. Just what we wanted. I really like making art, don't you? And it looks like we're gonna do some more of it, too. Stick around to help, okay? I'd like you to find me an animal. Kite, plane, bird. You got it. Say, I think we could use something you'd find in a house. Pail. Bell. Book. Bell. Hmm. I don't think that'll work here. Book. That's the one. I'd like you to find me something you'd find in a house. Wrench. Shoe. Chair. Just what
what we wanted. Say, I think we could use a tool. Dog. Rake. Saw. You got it. I'd like you to find me a tool. Just what we wanted. These are some great sculptures. Take that table anytime you want. You've earned it. Oh, this table is perfect for your treehouse. What a find. Wow, you made that activity look like a piece of cake. We'll be back in our treehouse in no time. I really like making art, don't you? And it looks like we're good. Wow, kids, this is a great sculpture. Thanks, and come back and visit any time. Come play with me. Wow, we're getting a lot done here. It's fun to help grown-ups. I'm not surprised you would pick me. Miss Turner says that we can have that old library ladder for the treehouse if we help her sort this pile of books into these two bins. Great! How hard can that be? You'd be surprised! The books are about real life or make-believe. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. Hey, I bet you'd be good at this. Want to help us sort these books? This is how we'll do it. I'll tell you what each book is about, and you point to the bin where it goes. Remember, Real life, or fact, is about something that's true. Make-believe, or fiction, is just a story. I knew that. Here's the real life bin, and here's the make-believe bin. Click on the bin where each book goes. Now this one tells us about... A girl who sings! Any ideas? Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about... A snowman that doesn't melt. Okay, where does it go? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about... A grasshopper who uses a computer. Which bin does this book go into. Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! Now this one tells us about a horse that runs fast. Hmm, is this book about real life or is it about make-believe? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about... A squirrel running up a tree. Which bin does it go into? That's not quite right. Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about... A cat drinking milk. Which bin does this book go into? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! Now this one tells us about... A fox who wears sunglasses. Any ideas? Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about a duck that swims and quacks. Hmm, is this book about real life or is it about make-believe? Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about an alligator talking on a telephone. Which bin does it go into? Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! 
In this one, they talk about an elephant with big feet. Okay, where does it go? Good work! I bet you read that book before. Now this one tells us about a hippopotamus that lives in a tree. Which bin does it go into? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about a salt grinder that made the sea salty. Okay, where does it go? <laughs> Whoops! That's not the right one. Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about a monkey who has a driver's license. Hmm, is this book about real life or is it about make-believe? Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about a chicken that lays brown eggs. Which bin does this book go into? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! Now this one tells us about a dog who does tricks. Any ideas? Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about a giraffe with a long neck. Which bin does this book go into? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! Now this one tells us about a raccoon that cooks its dinner. Any ideas? Nice going! Want to try something different? Go to the next level! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about hamsters rolling logs down a hill. Which bin does it go into? I'm sorry, that's not it. Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about a boy that can turn somersaults. Hmm, is this book about real life or is it about make-believe? Sorry, that's not it. I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about a snake that can run. Okay, where does it go? Good work! I bet you read that book before. Now this one tells us about a baby frog that looks like a fish. Which bin does it go into? I don't think so. It goes in the other bin. Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! In this one, they talk about a snake with arms and legs. Hmm, is this book about real life or is it about make-believe? I knew that too! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about a raccoon that washes its food. Any ideas? Um, try again. Nice going! We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! Now this one tells us about a lizard that turns different colors. Which bin does this book go into? Good work! I bet you read that book before. We crosswires always finish what we start. Good job! This book is about an elephant who picks up his food with his nose. Which bin does it go into? I knew that too! Yes! We're all done! And Miss Turner is really happy that we helped. Miss Turner says you've been a big help to her today. Now, be sure to take this ladder back to your treehouse before it gets dark. Between you and Muffy, 
We'll be playing new games in our treehouse in a snap. Crosswires always finish what we start. Good job. Well, I know one thing that's real life and not make-believe. You're really fun to play with. Hey, you want to help me? Want to come and help me? We just need to keep helping people, and we'll get what we need to rebuild the treehouse. I hope we can do it. Great! Let's get started. Nice to meet you. I told Mrs. Maplewood that I'd help put tools on the lumberyard shelves so that she'd give us some scrap wood. But boy, I had no idea it would be this hard. What's the problem? It looks easy enough. First, I'll look in all the boxes and you'll see what's in each one. Then, I'll look at Ms. Maplewood's cards for the tools she needs. When you see the tools she needs, click on the right box to help me find it. With your help, I think I can do this. Let's see. There should be a hammer. Hooray! Here it is. This card says that I need a ruler. Wrong box. Sorry. Oops. I don't think so. I think I can help. I think the boxes that are still closed have what we're looking for. All right, we found it. Now, I have to find a screwdriver. Yes, we got it. Let's keep helping Miss Maplewood. I think we need to get a box of nails. This is it. Perfect. We're looking for a drill. Aha! I knew it. Let's see. There should be a box of nuts. All right. We found it. Let's... Let's keep helping Miss Maplewood. I think we need to get a hammer. Hooray! Here it is. We're looking for a saw. This is it! Perfect! This card says that I need a box of bolts. Aha! I knew it! Now, I have to find a drill. Yes! We got it! Let's do some more! There should be a hammer. This is it. Perfect. Now, I have to find a file. Hooray! Here it is. I think we need to get a box of nuts. Aha! I knew it. We're looking for a saw. All right, we found it. Hey, let's go do something a little different. Meet you at the next level. Let's keep, let's do some more. This card says that I need a file. I knew it! Now, 
I have to find a ruler. All right, we found it. This card says that I need a box of nails. This is it. Perfect. Let's see. There should be a box of bolts. Yes, we got it. I think we need to get a wrench. Hooray! Here it is. We did it. Miss Maplewood says we can take any boards we need for the treehouse. You want to stay here and do this again just for fun? Oh, wasn't that nice of Mrs. Maplewood? She's donating the scrap wood for your treehouse because you've been such a big help. The wood that you and Buster got is just what we need. We're one step closer to playing awesome games in our treehouse. Let's keep helping Miss Maplewood. Yay! We did it! Ms. Maplewood says we can take any boards we need for the treehouse. That wasn't so hard, was it? Okay, maybe it was a little bit. But thanks to you, we did it! You can help us anytime! Hey, why don't you help me? I could use some help. How about helping me? Okay, let's go! One great thing about ice cream is that it comes in great big tubs that we can use as chairs. The Brain's mom said she'll give us some of these tubs for the treehouse. Not so fast, Arthur. I could use a little help first. I've just invented some new ice cream flavors, and I'm putting their names up on the flavors board. I've done most of the work. However, I just need a few more letters. See all the letters in this rack? I'll tell you which ones I need, and you hand them to me. To give me a letter, click on it, move it to me, and click again. Let's get started. I need an N. An N! Good work! Would you please hand me a U? A U! If you'll help by handing me letters, you can have those empty tubs for the treehouse. Thank you. Would you please hand me an S? An S! Thank you. Honey? Tuna? Slush? Uh, I don't think so. You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? Now I can use a B. A B! Just what I wanted. Arthur, would you please find me an O? An O! Thank you. Now I can use an I. An I! Thank you. Eat, melon, swirl. Do you think kids would eat that? You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? If you Arthur, would you find me a letter that makes a N sound? An N! Just what I wanted. Arthur, would you find me a letter that makes an E sound? An E! Good work! Please hand me a letter that makes a H sound. Good work! Tuna, beef, whip. Oh, yuck! You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? Please hand me a letter that makes a L sound. An L! 
just what I wanted. Now, I could use a letter that makes an uh sound. A U! Just what I wanted. Now, I could use a letter that makes an E sound. An E! Thank you. Melon, sugar, treat. Mmm, mmm, sounds great. You're a big help. Ready to pick more letters? Hey! You Please hand me the first letter of the word lollipop. Now I can use the first letter of the word ice cream. An I. Good work. I need the first letter of the word oatmeal. An O. Good work. Liver, onion, snow. Who would eat that? Well, I think that just about does it. Thanks for all your help. Ready for those empty ice cream tubs now? Oh, these ice cream cartons will make great chairs for your treehouse. Won't it be fun when we can play games in the treehouse again? Great! Thank you! And thanks to you, too! These are the perfect chairs for our treehouse. You're really a big help today. Hey, want to do this one more time? You're a big thanks a lot. You kids were a big help to me. I'm sure your treehouse will look great. Hey, help me now. Grown-ups like it when kids help out. They'll give us stuff for the treehouse if we help them. Easy. I wondered when you'd pick me. I'll give you an old window for your treehouse if you can help me finish putting together these stained glass windows. That sounds like fun. Well, maybe I can put the windows into the frame, but I'm not sure what the right order is. Hey, maybe you could help us. Want to give it a try? Ready to make some windows with us? Click on one of the pictures down there on the floor and move it to the right place in the frame. Then click again to leave it there. These pictures are supposed to tell a story. Your job is to put them in order. Hey, that looks right. Let's make another window. Yeah, that does go there. Let's make another let's make another window. Hey, what picture do you want to start with? Hmm, I don't know about that one. You were close. I think you almost got it. To put Are you sure? Yeah, that does go there. Let's make another window. Hmm, I don't know about that. Are you sure to put pick? Wow, you're good. Let's make another window. Yeah, that does go there. We 
finish the job. Want to stick around and do something else? We'll find a way to make this window work in your treehouse. Excellent work! At this rate, our treehouse will be repaired in no time. To have more fun, try playing at a higher level. Let's make another one. Thanks very much. You can take that old window over there whenever you want. Good luck with that treehouse. Come back anytime. Look at this wallet we just found. It was lying right there on the sidewalk, like it was waiting for us. And it's full of money and other stuff. Hey, Arthur. Think of all the things we could buy for the treehouse with that money. You're right. Let's see how much money is here. We're looking at the money from the wallet we just found. You can help us figure out what the different pieces of money are called. You can also tell us how much each one is. Get ready to click on whatever we're looking for. Okay. Which one is worth one cent? Please click on it for us. This time, we're looking for a coin worth five cents. Show us by clicking on it. You're right. Which one of these coins is worth 25 cents? Click on it for us. Now we need to know which coin is worth 10 cents. Click on that one, okay? Hey, you really know all about money. Which one of these is a dollar? Show us by clicking on it. Hey, you really know all about money. Now, we want to count up all this money from the wallet to see how much is there. We'll need to separate and count all the different kinds. You can help us by clicking on whatever we ask for. Then, you'll move it to the spot where we want you to put it. You'll click again to drop what you're carrying. Let's start, okay? This is where we'll put all the dollars. Good choice. That's it. This is where we'll put all the dimes. I don't think so. Try another one. Hmm. I don't think so. You got it. Good choice. Yes! This is where we'll put all the nickels. Yes! You're right! This is where we'll put all the quarters. Good choice! You got it! You got it! Yes! Buster, I've been thinking. This money isn't really ours. If we spend it, the person who lost it might be really sad. Wow, you're right, Arthur. I know how I'd feel if it happened to me. I guess we should return it, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe there's something in this wallet that'll tell us where to find the person who owns it. We're looking for something in this wallet that can tell us who it belongs to and where that person lives. Click on anything here that will help us find out what we need to know. Yes, this is just the thing we need. It's a driver's license with the name and address. This tells us who owns the wallet and where they live. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's return this wallet to the person it belongs to. So that's what happened, Mr. Cedar. We found your wallet on the sidewalk and knew that you'd want it back. He says he's really happy. He didn't think he'd ever see it again. What did you say? Yeah, we're the kids who've been all over town looking for things to fix up my treehouse. What? You are? You will? Hey, thanks, Mr. Cedar. That's really nice of you. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. What? What did he say, Arthur? Mr. Cedar is a carpenter buster. He's so happy to get his wallet back that he's sending over his crew to build the treehouse for us. Wow, he'd really do that? Yup, 
He said it's because we did the right thing. <laughs> and I guess we really did. Thank you for the big help you've been today. We couldn't have done it without you. Isn't this great? The treehouse is as good as built. All right. We helped grown-ups learn new things and did a great job. Here's our certificate with our congratulations. You can print it now or later. Hey, you get a certificate. Way to go. on one of the three games to play a new game. A rubber ducky factory. We get points when we paint the ducks yellow. Just use the space bar on your keyboard or click your mouse to drop paint on the ducks as they pass under the paint machine. We only have two minutes, so let's go. Go? Click on the jacks or rubber balls and try to be the first to get three in a row. Let's play. 
play again. Should we play some more games? This game is super fun! Every monkey here has a friend who looks and acts exactly like him. Can you find all the pairs? Click on any monkey to begin. Found a match. Fantastic. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Monkey pears. Let's play again. I knew you'd be back. Let's play some more games. Hey, how would you like to come and help me? Want to come and help me? To print your certificate, click on the print button now. Are you sure you want to quit? Thank you. 